Well, hello everybody. This is D, and this is Down the Wormhole, and this is a beautiful place to be for the weekend. <laughs> yes, we went out to Reeser, Alberta, and I decided to be a little bit great It was, the rocks were just amazing, such smooth things. I don't think there was a sharp edge in the place other than maybe <laughs> the odd thistle bush that we managed to find or raspberry bush. <laughs> the water was quite fast moving, crystal clear, and the variety of plant life along the edges was amazing. There was some gorgeous flowers in some side streams, but there was virtually no leaf litter. If I could figure out how to take this piece of driftwood home, <laughs> man, I would have. It was just striking. Here you can see one of the bigger dragonflies, probably one of the main predators that the little trout have to deal with in the river. There was lots of dragonfly larvae in the river, large ones, small ones, very, very prevalent. <laughs> Here was another little critter that I found, a beautiful little pond snail. <laughs> I just had to check him out. Here we have some underwater footage of the brook trout that I found. These were located in a rather deeper part of the water. They didn't even get bothered when I walked up. The patterns on them were striking and how they were interacting under the water was gorgeous. The algae was the most that we could find for water life. <laughs> they were definitely full of spunk. These were some slightly smaller ones just farther down, a slightly shallower area. I was just digging having my underwater camera footage. The colors on these guys was gorgeous. <laughs> I really like the stripes down the middle of them. The water flow was generally moving quite fast in any locations that we did find them in. And they were definitely full of energy and darted when we got near. Here you can see a very small brook trout. He was no more than an inch long. He living at the edge of the shore and they would just duck in between these round rocks anytime they got startled. As they got bigger, they would go into the bigger pond here. And the teenager ones I found were sitting just on the edge here, <laughs> where it was slightly shallower. And I have to admit, the scenery that they got to live around was amazing. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed my time out here, and I think we're going to be camping out here next year. I have a feeling I want to go quite a bit farther down this river before I'm done. <laughs> this was the most covered area. but. For the most part, it was very hard to find anything in the water. Very open. I did bring a lot of this hardscape home. I can't wait to try kind of a brook theme <laughs> and definitely enjoy some of the unique rocks that I managed to find. So thank you all for watching, checking it out. I hope you guys enjoyed some of our little natural Alberta. Me and the family definitely enjoyed the time away and little introverted me definitely enjoyed the solitude and it was very recharging. I can't wait to see you guys all next time.